Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, ay magsosolve po tayo ng 10 items na ito. And let's assume that all denominators are not equal to 0. Bakit ko po sinasabi na dapat ang mga denominators are not equal to 0? Kasi kapag nag-0 po yung mga denominators, it means that the answer is undefined or wala pong sagot. Kasi any number divided by 0 is undefined. Okay, so let's start with number 1. 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 3. So ano po ang dapat natin gawin dito? So all we have to do is to remember the rule that for all integers m and n and any non-zero number a where a to the m divided by a to the n is just equal to a to the m minus n. And now let's apply this rule. So let's start with number 1. 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 3. So what do you think will be the answer for this? So ang gagawin po natin, just copy the base, which is 7, then just subtract the exponents, which is 5 minus 3, and that is equal to 2. So ibig sabihin nito, the answer is 7 raised to the power of 2. So how about this number 2, which is 10 raised to the power of 6 divided by 10 raised to the power of 4. So ano po kaya ang sagot dito? Again, same rule must be applied, which is kailangan lang po nating i-copy yung base and subtract their exponents. So ang ibig sabihin po nito na yung sagot is 10 raised to the power of 2 or 10 squared. Kasi nga, ikakapi lang ang base at isasubtract ang kanilang exponents. And now, let's proceed with number 3. y to the 7 divided by y cubed or y to the power of 3. So again, copy the base and subtract the exponent. So we have 7 minus 3 and that is equal to 4. Therefore, the answer is y to the power of 4. Okay, so feel free to answer number 4 and number 5 and we will jump to number 6. Just comment your answers below. Number 6. m to the power of 5 times m to the power of 7 divided by m times n. So what will be the answer for this? So this is considered a product of m to the power of 5 and m to the power of 7. So kapag tayo po ay magmumultiply, i-add lang po natin ang kanilang exponents. Therefore, this is m to the power of 12 divided by m times n. But the question is, can we still simplify this one? Yes, kasi this is uh, still divisible. m to the power of 12 divided by m to the power of 1. So the answer is m to the power of 11 times n. So this will be our final answer. So again, baka po may nalito kung bakit naging m to the power of 11. m to the power of 12 divided by m to the power of 1. So isa subtract lang po natin, 12 minus 1, and that is equal to 11. Kapag wala pong exponent ang isang uh, variable, that means considered siya as 1 ang kanyang exponent. So I hope that makes sense. And now, let's proceed with number 7. 12x to the power of 8 times y to the power of 5 divided by 6x squared y cubed. So, ang gagawin lang po natin dito is isa-isahin po natin sa pag-divide. So, i-divide muna natin itong mga coefficient tapos yung mga same ng variables. So, this only means that 12 divided by 6 and that is equal to 2 x to the 8 divided by x squared, and that is x to the power of 6. y to the power of 5 divided by y cubed, and that is equal to y squared. And this is our final answer. Next, we have number 8. 15x cubed, y cubed, divided by 3x squared, y. So, same procedure. 15 divided by 3, and that is equal to 5 x cubed divided by x squared, and that is equal to x, kasi 3 minus 2, that is 1. 
so x to the power of 1, or just simply x. y cubed divided by y, and that is equal to y squared. And this is our final answer. Next, we have number 9. 35a to the power of 10, b to the power of 12, c to the power of 6, divided by 5, a squared, b cubed, c. So, ano po ang sagot dito? So, we have 35 divided by 5, and that is equal to 7. a to the power of 10, divided by a squared, so 10 minus 2, and that is equal to 8. And b to the power of 12 divided by b cubed, 12 minus 3, and that is equal to 9. c to the power of 6 divided by c, 6 minus 1, and that is equal to 5. Therefore, the answer is 7, a to the power of 8, b to the power of 9, c to the power of 5. And lastly, we have number 10, 42m to the power of 4, n to the power of 4, divided by 6m squared, n. So, of course, no, same procedure pa rin tayo. So, 42 divided by 6, and that is equal to 7. m to the power of 4 divided by m squared, and that is equal to 2, kasi 4 minus 2. So, m squared na lang. n to the power of 4 divided by n, so 4 minus 1, and that is equal to 3. Therefore, the final answer is 7 m squared n cubed. And that's all for this video and I hope you've learned something new today. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.